Good morning, how are you? I hope that this reading finds you well. So I'm up and all the meditations are done. But you know, my babe, she's still sleeping. So when the little one's sleeping, it's a great time to read. So I just shuffled into the deck to see what would come out. I didn't petition the cards or anything. So I think it'll be a collective reading. That's just what I'm in the mood for. It may or may not resonate with you. Maybe the next one will. If it doesn't, and if this does, I'm glad that I could read for you today. So I hope that you're healthy and safe and that you're doing well. Anyhow, whomever I'm reading for in today's reading, there was some type of previous conflict, like major conflict. It would have been something that happened in the past, or if you are into your own astrology during some type of a Mars transit, which can or cannot, you know, be for too long, so, um, some type of shock, you know, it caused a big fuss, but everything has come to, it's not, a, it hasn't come to a resolution, but the worst of it is over, adjustments have been made, so something's come back into balance, or at least there's, like, hope of it maybe feeling like um also because of what's happening in the world economy that <sighs> here it is you have to make certain changes so could be massive changes to your lifestyle or just to how you're living in general there is a lot of Saturn here, Pluto, Pisces, Scorpio. This is like Capricorn for me, the world as well. The, the devil is like Capricorn in the earthly sense. And then the world is the awakened Capricorn. So for me today, this is Capricorn energy that could also be very... Um, important in that person's chart okay but tower in the world definitely talks about the times that we're in when this reading's being filmed in April of 2020 so I think for those of you who resonate that's where you're at you can see where you're going to be making some pretty massive transformations in your life, but you're very aware of it. The tower is already done because this energy, this um, Mars in, in Pluto, it's going towards the past. So it's leaving your energy and you're really going towards something that is much calmer because this is very tranquil energy. This is very benevolent energy, these two. So you have a lot of um, action behind it because the pages, they are very naive. They just like will dive in head first. They don't check the depth of things before. So sometimes they put themselves at risk. But when the energy is positively aspected, you know, especially with the world under the tower, just to confirm that the worst is behind you or you're just or the changes you're getting ready to make are really going to be very healthy for you, or like a fresh start. Um, it's optimistic. So that page is highly aspected. It's positively aspected. 
It's like that bit of push that you need, the universe supplies you, and you don't regret it. Yeah, but uh, things are not going to be the way that they were. You may be more conservative than you were previously, you know, and you may be also have decided to give up on something, maybe some type of a long-held desire or goal to keep working on something because I'm reading, uh, yeah, I'm reading reversals because I'm, I don't know, let's just have fun. I never do this, but today we feel different. So maybe um, something was more or less about an, an agreement than it was about an actual emotional connection. So for some of you, that's like a, a relationship. And when someone came to the realization of that with this Ace of Swords, they took a totally different view on what happened in the past. And it kind of like, there's no emotions there, but this could very much so be an intimate connection right if this is a relationship it could have been primarily based off of rock and roll okay <laughs> know what i mean <laughs> rock and roll so lots of um like lustful sexual phallic energy maybe also substance abuse or the best of times and the worst of times. It's like really dramatic polarity kind of energy. But someone's like no longer willing to invest. So here the emperor, he's he's in his stone energy because the ace, it's a magnificent movement and it's reversed, so... The wand falls back into the sky. The hand loses control of it. And then with that energy behind the emperor, it's energy that is not going to change. It's like as stagnant as the hardest rock. <laughs> the biggest, most gigantic, hardest mass of rock. Okay, so think of like the great mountains that are just unmovable immovable that's the emperor in this position so something something has been come somebody has come into a realization of something and they're no longer willing to take action and they're just going to take their losses and the night like whoa it's all of this fire energy to push forward it just had to come about through this tower so maybe some of you have like come to some realizations about relationships since you've been in your current situation, you know, since your life has changed in, in the various ways that it had recently. Maybe you're seeing some things for the first time that you didn't see before or you're just making some decisions that are pretty pivotal about how you're going to move forward. But for a lot of you, something that was, like, of high value lost its value. Stark realizations when it came to whatever that is for you. I'm trying to be general. Because <laughs> it's a general reading, right? But, yep. So... There's a lot of energy here because it's not that, okay, it's not a marriage, but it definitely was like some type of really significant partnership. Then there's the theme of lack of stability or just like not the type of influence or image that someone wants. And then for others of you, it's a whole family dynamic. 
for some of you, you didn't know that someone had a family. They were hiding that maybe or hiding a child. And then for others of you, it's like the secret breakup that nobody knows is happening except the two people who are separating. It's like loss of job, loss of partnership, loss of like tenants or clients, for example. It's just like, dang, whatever the dynamic between this relationship is. And then there's a third aspect involved, but a part of all of the details may be hidden. And, you know, you're not going to get full access to that. Like, you're, you'll never know the full story, potentially. But there could be a daughter involved, especially. But, um, yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to get out of this energy. <laughs> that is deep. I'm not going to be all up in y'all's business. I mean, you can have a, a reading if you want personally, but I've got to get out of your business now. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. And maybe you got some good something good out of it. I don't know. Maybe validation. Maybe some guidance on which direction things are going i don't know but i wish you the best ashe